You might remember last month's 5.8 magnitude earthquake on the East Coast, and you may recall how it damaged the Washington Monument. Well, it's actually been closed ever since. So this morning, climbers will start at the top. They're going to work their way down the outside to see just how bad the damage truly is. CBS News national correspondent Chip Reed is on the National Mall in Washington with a look at uh, what they'll be doing and also look at some pretty incredible video from the day of the quake that's now been released. Chip, good morning. It sure was, Eric, and I can tell you, look, I'm no engineer, but I think it's common sense that with a structure like the Washington Monument, when an earthquake struck, strikes, the greatest movement and the most violent shaking is going to be at the top. And for the two dozen or so people who were up there when that earthquake hit, it was a pretty terrifying moment. It was August 23rd, 1.51 in the afternoon. A security camera attached to the ceiling of the observation deck of the Washington Monument shows National Park Service Ranger Nikki Williams at the top of the stairs, 500 feet above ground level. Suddenly, the monument begins to shake. Williams looks up, alarmed, but at this point, there's no panic. She appears to speak calmly with tourists. Then the shaking becomes more violent. She looks up again and immediately starts ushering people down the stairs just as they are pelted by falling debris. One or two people appear to fall down briefly, then get back on their feet and join others as they crowd down the stairs. Some are carrying or holding on to children. A short time later, Williams is seen running through the observation deck, making sure everyone is out. Now, the good news for those tourists is that no one was injured. The bad news is they had to walk 897 steps down to the ground level. Now, what's going to happen later today, and by the way, the monument is closed indefinitely, but they want to see exactly how badly it was damaged. So four engineers are going to begin repelling, repelling down the side of the monument. It's going to take five days to inspect every inch of it. And they brought in a mountaineering expert from Alaska to make sure everything goes well. Erica. Quite a job they have ahead of them. All right, Chip. Thanks, Chip Reed, on the National Mall this morning. Just a few moments ago, I spoke with Park Ranger Nikki Williams, who you saw in that video helping tourists get out of the monument safely. And I asked her about her initial reaction when she first felt that shake. I was very, very frightened. I initially just wanted to run down the stairs by myself and away from everything. <laughs> Probably like everyone else did, but of course you couldn't because you were there, you're working there, and part of your job is to help everyone. It seemed like you immediately, even if that may have been your initial reaction, immediately you just launched into that mode and started helping people. Yeah, absolutely. Then I realized I had to take care of these 20 people. They were, their lives were responsible. For, I was responsible for them. Um, so I go down to that next level. You see me going down the stairwell to open up the emergency exit and uh, get them down the stairwell. And how, how were all those folks doing? Uh, they were panicked at first, but I had begun to yell out, go down the stairs, go down the stairs, and eventually they began to help each other to follow me down the stairs, and all of them were able to move very quickly down that stairwell. So as this is all happening, and you're maintaining your calm and you're cool and you're helping everybody else do that and get out safely, did you have any idea what had happened at that point? I initially thought that we were under some sort of attack. Um, I did not have any indication of what had happened until about two minutes after um, I was walking down the stairwell assisting a visitor and a park police officer came across my radio and uh, notified me that it was an earthquake that had happened, which calmed me a little bit, but then I realized there could be aftershocks while I'm in the stairwell. Did it seem the people that you were helping down at that point, um, I, I would guess they probably heard your radio too. Did that give them any sort of comfort? Had they initially thought that it could have been something far more serious than an earthquake? Not that an earthquake isn't serious, of course, but in this case. Right. Right. Absolutely. Uh, there was one visitor who had uh, trouble going down the stairs, so I was assisting her, and she was elderly. Um, and so for her to hear that, I could see her visibly relax right in front of me. So it did relax them to know that it was an earthquake and, and not an attack. So you mentioned you, mentioned you had gone back up, um, and that was to help some other folks get back down, correct? I was at the emergency uh, exit helping them down and I realized that I have to go back up to that next level to make sure there's no one up there. Um, I did not want to go up so I figured I'm going to run as fast as I can. And you can see me, I basically flash by on the video to run back down that stairwell. I mean that's what I'm doing to make sure there's no visitors that have been left at that top level. Do your job but do it quickly just in case, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So once you had time to process all of this, and now that you watch this video, is it strange at all for you to watch yourself in those moments? It's absolutely strange. When I had gotten down to the bottom afterwards, I was running through the things I could have done differently, and I thought I hadn't reacted quickly enough. 
But then when I saw the video, I realized it was actually very little time in between <laughs> realizing what was going on and getting them down that stairwell. So I felt better after watching the video. We'd say you did pretty well. The National Park Service says you're a hero. Um, I know you'd like to go back to work. Would you uh, like to go back to the Washington Monument when it reopens? Um, I, I hope that they can, can uh, guarantee me that it is secure before I go back inside. <laughs> All right. A lot of folks would probably feel the same way. Nikki Williams, great to have you with us this morning. And uh, I know there are plenty of people who feel that it was great to have you there with them on that day. Thanks again.